Hello people and welcome to another Planet of Two video. Hope you're doing good. My name is Matthias and I'm back in a Liberator with uh, Mosquito being the pilot and I'm using the Dalton. Now hovering like this above a big group of people is not gonna last long. Doesn't take uh, much time before uh, some of these people start spawning anti-air, which is what you see here. Now what's happened to the anti-air lately is that the sky guards have been buffed and the maxes, the dual bursters, have been uh, nerfed. Uh, as far as I know, yeah, the no, dual okay. bursters have only been nerfed at range and the way we fly in order to be able to see and uh, render infantry players, we have to fly uh, relatively close to them and I don't think that the uh, effectiveness of the bursters have been nerfed at that range. I, I don't know. Either way, hovering above this base is not going to work and Mosquito knows this uh, very well. We're uh, trying a different approach here where uh, Mosquito is trying to give me an angle towards these people while circling around the base, uh, making us a little bit of a harder target for these anti-air maxes. At the same time, it is a lot harder for me, of course, to put my aim on uh, the enemies. Oh, that's friendly. Enemy infiltrator spotted. Ah, oh, shit. Visual and hostile engineer. Enemy engineer in the area. Enemy engineer spotted. Where does it come from? From the tower itself. Yeah, yeah. So while I'm using the Dalton, Hot and Spicy no, is using the Bulldog. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how well he was doing, because as much as I was struggling to keep my aim on the target, I'm sure it's even harder for him. Now, just like always in a base like this, the uh, anti-air maxes can always uh, go in and out uh, of the spawn room and uh, get repair, resupply, and get back out in the fight again. And as long as they use these tactics, it's uh, almost impossible to kill them. But in a situation like this, the, some of the players are, of course, forced to push out, know, and uh, that leaves them vulnerable to the Dalton and the Bulldog. Once. Oh, it's a Liberator. I hit it once. Nice. It's down. I like the Dalton more than the Suffer. Yeah, because I can hit once or twice with this, but spotted. to keep it going, it will be hard. Yeah. Mm. Who was this? Sorry. Watch the roof, there was a guy in the roof. Yeah, the, the, he's by the spawn room, it's a max. There's a flash. Oh shit. User disconnected from your channel. Now to be able to pull this off you need an experienced pilot flying the Liberator, otherwise it's not gonna happen. And even if you do, it is quite hard to pull it off. I am really struggling with keeping my aim on the targets here and a lot of these shots are missing. Had we been trying to make so it easier beast. for ourselves, we would also of course make it easier for the opponents, so that's just the way it is. Now another thing that I'd like to point out here is that uh, we are a bit overpopulated compared to our opponents in this uh, particular engagement. And that uh, thing has always favored flying. The more imbalanced uh, a server is or a battle is or uh, whatever area you're in, the more it favors your team, the more it favors flying uh, in your team. Now know. there are lots of pilots who will take advantage yeah, of this I and only will go to battles uh, where they have the upper hand and just to farm. Well, it's uh, nothing new and it has been pointed out several times before. I'm not sure if SOE have any plans on trying to solve this, but uh, it seems to be quite hard with uh, the kind of uh, battle that the Planet 2 is all about. Stay alert! Enemy heavy nearby! Man, I might be dizzy and start to throw up soon. Just saw an enemy. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> oh I, I have no ammo. <laughs> I'm so focused at this, I'm, I'm completely out of ammo. Oh, but he didn't like it. Well, it, it is. It, it, maybe he started throwing up too much, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, it kept, uh, kept getting his aim off the target, he said. Yeah, but it is, it is really hard to keep enemy aim on the target. Heavy. Right now there's too many friendlies here. I, I enemy can only engineer in the area! Oh shit, oh, oh shit. shit. Oh my god, wait, uh... Um, when it comes to farming like this, 
It has been quite easy to do with tanks and harassers lately, but uh, with air vehicles it's been more or less impossible. And the thing is that with anti-air you have quite a number of options. I will put a link in the description where you can see how I'm using uh, dual walkers on my Sunderer. But up until now the absolutely best uh, anti-air has been the dual burster of the Maxis. Uh, anything else has kind of paled in comparison, but I think uh, a lot of us have to adapt to the new changes and uh, don't underestimate some of these other options for anti-air. So now as soon as I can, I will try out the uh, Skyguard. I haven't uh, used it at all since game update 11, but I'm looking forward to see what it's like. Also keep in mind that there are many weapons that are not uh, dedicated anti-air uh, weapons that will do a lot of uh, damage towards air vehicles. One of the buffs that was made a couple of patches ago was uh, to the basilisk. It uh, has uh, faster projectile speed and you can also angle it up uh, much higher now. And uh, tanks are also very dangerous towards air vehicles. They can also angle up their turrets higher than uh, they used to and um, Air armor piercing bullets are really dangerous to any air vehicles. Uh, here I want to point something out about placement. Look at where this Sunder is parked uh, next to the shield in the middle of the road. Now had this Sunder been placed uh, a couple of meters to the north or a couple of meters to the south, the players that spawned in at that Sunder would have had access to cover and that would especially favor engineers that are supposed to stand next to their uh, max uh, bodies and uh, repair them. But this also goes for the heavy assaults that are helping to try to take out air vehicles and tanks. Being able to kite back and forward in and out from cover is something you have to get used to in every game that you play in first person shooter mode. And the same goes for the medics that uh, are supposed to help healing you and reviving you. They have to have access to cover. I know I'm not the only one who is waiting for uh, SOE to fix the new lag issues that came with the game update 11. We've seen the same problem happening several times before when there was a new update. Oh fuck, yeah, he just an enemy gun. Leroy and Damos are good, really good. Yeah, I got him. Oh yeah. Oh, just really? Shuriken. Uh. Nice. I think one guy jumped out. So now for the last part of this video, I did save up a couple of uh, reaver shots. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. Nice and uh, that's gonna have to be all. So, uh, yeah. Bye for now. Yeah, let's get uh, Forget the galaxy. Let's just kill those reavers. Stay stay below us. Mati, get him. I got one. Huh? I hear uh, a reaver. Yeah. yeah, here they come. Yeah, here they come, the reavers. How much? Uh, How much? Just one. I see one. Those three reavers. I see three I got one. I got going one towards one. south. Mati, repair, repair. Yeah. Oh shit. Lightning. Leave him, leave him, kill oh, yeah. Incoming enemy aircraft. He's down. Alright. Oh, the sky guards. Oh, there's two sky guards at least. Enemy Sunderer in the area. I think we can, uh. Hostile lightning tank spotted. Swipe one. Um, yeah, the, one of them, yeah, one of them spotted. But they're, they're oh shit. There's so many angles. Yeah. That's a different. Nice. Yeah, I got him. Thanks. Oh wait, there. Oh, uh, uh, leave above, leave above. He's gonna need us. Don't, don't land here. He's, he's okay. chasing us. He's, he's chasing us. Okay, enemy okay. Gunship in the area. Yeah. Identified an enemy gunship. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hit one. And two. Nice. Yeah. What's that? Shit.